Okay, I'm trying to get it where it's not fuzzy. Hey guys. So, <laughs> it's been a long one. Back today with another vlog. So we are at uh, Margaritaville Hotel um, in Jacksonville, Florida. Never been out this way before. Came out this way for Mikhail's B-Day. We were supposed to be in Jamaica, but yeah, with all the moving, etc., going on, that was just too out of reach for the moment. So we're here and we're gonna make the best of things. Um, it's a little stinky outside. So we're gonna go down to the pool. The room is really, really cute. We were supposed to have an ocean view, but we're not gonna complain, we're here. We're gonna go down to the pool, gonna have some drinks, gonna eat, gonna chill, gonna relax. And I was debating if I wanted to vlog because literally my tripod just broke. But I'm gonna try to make the best of things and take you guys on a journey with me. Excuse the gun in my mouth. So let's see how this plays out. Just take your little bracelet, your skin, and you come on in. Okay. So, a quick little room tour. Have your restroom. Have your safe and closet with towels, I guess beach towels. Have your TV. Your bed is king size. I was wondering if we had a balcony. I guess that's something extra. I thought they all, for some reason, had one. You get a Keurig. And the weather is a little funky, even though it don't supposed to rain. I don't know. But this is the outside area. So we don't even have a partial. We supposed to have a partial beach view. <laughs> we don't have a beach view, period. Currently storming and I can't record for long because the music. Okay, so the wind was blowing us down the street at the pool and water was going everywhere. So we decided to just come up and have a drink and we have this. Never tried it, and some pineapple juice. to go back and get in the pool finally. It was empty, even though the wind was blowing. We enjoyed a little bit of time in the pool. It could be a little cleaner though. I'm hoping it's because the end of the day. I don't know, but yeah. So I forgot to record my outfit of the day. Fashion over, a little two-piece set with the like bra style top and the bottom with the sheer overlay and shorts. Something a little tropical and comfy. Bag, my aunt gave me this when I was in Chicago a couple of weeks ago. Really, really cute coach bag. And yep, show you the bag. It's just flowy and cute. Getting ready to head over to see if they doing bingo. Yes, bingo. You can make some money, even the youngsters on bingo now. And to get a little something to eat. See, I always go to Florida. It be dinner time, and I want some damn aha. I already bit into it, but it's very orangey. <laughs> gone. Okay, so outfit of today, I got this from Shein. Um, little dress, kind of like a skater dress, real flowy, kind of wrinkled, but they'll fall out as hot as it is. That's the back, it's like strappy. I forgot my little bra, so it is what it is at this moment, so. 
drove 30 minutes to get to Einstein Bagel just so I can have a bagel sandwich. That's another me everywhere I go. I always get the all-nighter bagel. This time I got it on a cheesy jalapeno uh, bagel and you always get a smear of uh, veggie cream cheese. Best thing ever. Hello, I think I want, I think this is the camera bag that I wanted. These, these right here. I might have to just get it. No rain, no forecast, what is that? What is that, it is flood. This one is going with these. So I got my bag, I'm happy. But we're back in the liquor store looking for the XXL wine. If you haven't tried that, it's a must try. It's really good. And we have having a hard time finding it. So these, the cherry, mango, and then they got blackberry. The cherry is really good. Okay, so we're back from shopping. Been shopping for five hours and ended up with one purse. <laughs> but I was looking for a specific purse. And somebody went to the wrong mall, so... And we ended up having to go to a different Einstein bagel because the other one was on a college campus and we couldn't find it. So that was throwing us out about 30 minutes. But I like Jacksonville. I have to say it's a lot of shopping, which is the reason why I like to vacate. One of the reasons besides relaxation. So the pool, the shopping, sometimes the beach, which we're about to go to the beach and back to the pool and good places to eat. So my thing is we only here for two days. So, tomorrow we leave. We got here yesterday. So, we had one full day. So, two nights, basically three days. But yesterday really does not count because we got here like four something. So, most of the day was over. Today was the only full day. And then you have to check out at 11 a.m. Uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, I need a little bit more time. Because there's other places I wanted to go and check out and shop around at. And then we didn't really have much downtime. So when you go somewhere for like basically only two nights, you don't have time to like chill and rest. We got like an hour in the pool yesterday by ourselves before people start coming from everywhere and the pool's not that big. But it's a really nice um it's a really nice hotel. I just wish they had a bigger pool. And it's a heated pool, so I like that too. But the weather is a little funny out here, it's storming off and on. So that's another thing. But I will be back. I will be back, Jacksonville, for the shopping. Because I love shopping. But, um, and this is not, it's not super far. It's like a few hours away from the new place. So, uh, it's feasible. But so far, so good. I, I kind of like it out here. It's cool. Um, I don't know why they drive so crazy in Florida. Georgia is not far behind them with the driving to me, but Florida, baby, they will hop a lane in front of you so quick. And my anxiety was through the roof the whole time we were driving around. Everybody zoom, zoom, zoom in. It's no such thing as a speed limit. I didn't, I realized that in Miami, but I didn't realize it in any other part of Florida. But as far as a vacation spot, if you find something in Jacksonville and it's right on the beach, that's a plus. And I was looking at a lot of other hotels and they were not on the beach and they wanted either the same amount or more um, out here. So why not just go ahead and stay on the beach? But yeah, I don't know what else we're going to do besides dinner. I have not got a chance to try. I haven't had a chance to try any fancy restaurants, only the things that I like, the regular places. So that's another reason to come back. But we're going to figure out something for dinner and I will basically... Try to remember to pick up this camera and tune in with you guys for that. Okay, headed to the pool. Swimwear, really giving in both ways. She in, um, you have the swim bra, swim bottoms, and the cover up. And it's adjustable, really cute. Sunglasses, I got them for like $2. Um, City Trends. And the little sandals from Shein as well, like five or six dollars. Really cute, y'all. Y'all can't lose with them, but really cute. The back is out here. 
and yep headed to the beach and the pool Okay, dinner outfit, she in, um, tube top that I struggled with, had to try to figure out how to wear a bra with, but uh, it's completely sheer the whole outfit, so didn't bring the right undergarments, but it's okay. Chain belt, I believe, is from she in. Got my Kurt Giger bag, again, sunglasses from uh, City Trends, and this is a whole look. Thing banging. And oh, same sandals. I got these from Shein as well, five or six dollars, I think. But yep, ready to go to dinner. Excuse me, I am sweating profusely. I think I said that correctly. But I don't know. Some about this other part of Georgia, y'all. Be hot. But to close out the travel video, um, where well, we went to Jacksonville, I just wanted to give a little bit more inf information huh, about Margaritaville. So upon arrival you have the choice of parking and it's like a little strip in front of the hotel uh, you can park for free they say but you're kind of competing for a spot um, with a building that is basically across from margaritaville and i think it's like condos and stuff but i'm not sure so but um it's very hard to find a parking spot so we ended up paying for parking parking was 27 dollars a day plus tax yeah, but it was convenient. So that's what I liked about it. We were able to walk out. Someone would hurry and grab our car. And when we come back, somebody go and park the car. So I liked that about it. Did not like really paying the basically $30 a day, but it was kind of worth it. Okay, so when you check in, what the deal is, you cannot go past, I believe it's the first or second floor, which I believe is the lobby. Um, because you have to have a wristband. So they give you, I don't have a band on. I took the band off, of course. They give you a wristband that basically gets you on the elevator and it gets you past the second floor. You just hold it for a few seconds and then press the number that you're going to. We stayed on the sixth or seventh floor. Y'all, my memory is horrible. We stayed on the sixth or seventh floor. So, yep, using that wristband got you into your room as well. And, um, I do believe we didn't charge anything to the room, but I do believe they had the option to charge things to the room. They did have a restaurant inside. We checked out the restaurant. If you watched 
the beginning of the video um the restaurant was pretty good i didn't really get a chance to rate the food i would say the food was a seven out of ten i added extra sauce to my tacos that was the only thing I, i'm a saucy girl i like some saucy uh, tacos so that was the only thing and um the drinks were good uh we were able to get in the pool twice by ourselves most people seem like they preferred the beach even though the weather was kind of iffy i would have thought more people would have wanted to be at the pool but no they were on that beach um the beach was a little weird and different it's like a slope that you walk down of sand and we were kind of scared to walk down but we did end up going on the beach so we had a great time um going on the beach and mainly in the pool and like i said the food was good we want to go back so we can explore a little bit more of the restaurants that they said were in the area that were really good i don't know why i keep looking at this side of the camera and i hope this is clear but yeah and a bit more of the shopping because they had so much shopping y'all i was like oh oh nordstrom oh nordstrom rack oh this that that this they had a couple of miles it was just so much to do for me that's because that's that's my love language shopping and food <laughs> But we really enjoyed ourselves and we will be traveling back. That's only a few hours away from where we are currently um, staying. Kind of on the more permanent side, but I'm kind of staying in both places. It's kind of hard to explain. But um, yeah, we will be going back in Jacksonville. It was pretty much a vibe. Everybody seemed like really cool out there. I don't know what else be going on out there because I heard some good and bad things, but I still enjoy myself, so but you know thank you guys for watching